guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I don't think I've ever done an empties video before. These are a few empties from um oh, you're right. from probably Novemberish, Decemberish and a tiny bit of Jan. Um I use many products at a time so they don't always finish that quick but I'm trying to work my way through each product until it's finished because it's just too much space um, or it just takes up too much space and yeah so I'm just going to randomly pick from this pile um, and yeah I thought this is just something cool I love watching other people's empties so yeah it's dick Okay, so the first product that I've picked up out of this package is my NPL Cleanse and Detox Pills. These I used, they are amazing. Um, I've actually bought a second bottle and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I spoke about these. You can get these at Diskim. Um, I will link the price or put it on the screen because I can't remember how much they were. Um, but these things are amazing and they work. TMI, stay close to a toilet. But these things are amazing. And they have a whole range of stuff. Um, I've actually just uploaded the bottle is over there. What I'm currently using. So yeah, and these are 60 tablets with 30 servings in them. Make sure to read the instructions properly. Next up are these and they are one, two, three, four four boxes of these. I didn't really wear eyelashes much lately. I haven't worn them much lately. But these ones are my favorite. They are the Eye Lure Texture 117 Pre-Glued. They are the most amazing false lash. They look most natural with a little bit of a dramatic um, touch. I absolutely love these. Then I have the John Frieda Sheer Blonde High Impact Vibrancy Restoring Shampoo. Um, I used this over December, no, this over November, the one I used in December I'm still using. Um, I love anything John Frieda, they, are, they have amazing products, um, really good quality and affordable, and obviously this is for blondes. product I picked up and also in the John Frieda range is this Full Repair Hydrate and Rescue Deep conditioner this stuff is amazing I had like quite dry hair from treatment I feel that my hair along with the John Frieda masks that I have been using um, it's really up to its game and I really enjoy this I'll definitely repurchase this sticking with hair this stuff is amazing I broke my oil and I'm so upset but yeah micro keratin products are amazing okay this is the madame madame extreme capsule repair and hydrating mask this i also used when i felt like my hair was dry and it works really really well um i would repurchase this definitely just it's like january and like the price tag is a little bit heavy for now but later on i definitely will repurchase this right next up on the list and i seem to have the box as well I have about 40 of these if I had to keep everything because I go through one of these at least every two months. This is my favorite BB cream by Garnier. It's the Garnier Skin Active Long Lasting 12 Hour BB Cream with Grapefruit um, and Mineral Pigments. This is my holy grail. I wear this every single day unless I'm going to like a fancy function. and. It's amazing. Right, and then this little guy. This is the Avon Senses Caribbean Colada. This is the shower cream. Um, I love these. This one smelled like, um, oh here it says, coconut and pawpaw or papaya. And um, it's really nice for the bath, for the shower. It smells delicious. And I love these Avon um, little Avon shower creams. They're really so affordable and they work so well. Next up, I actually got this in the Maldives. But I'm sure we get this here. But this is the travel size baby one. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Glow with Pure Cocoa Butter for um, dry skin. And uh, restores a natural glow to dry skin. I love this. 
It smells so good, it hydrates so well. In my holy grail mascara, which I also have about 40 of these, is the Essence Lash Princess. This is the purple one for Sculpted Volume Mascara. I love this, I love everything about it. It's my favorite mascara, I never change. I'll try new ones if I get sent them, but I will always go back to this baby. I absolutely love her. Right, this I absolutely loved as well and I will definitely repurchase this because I am a cleansing balm freak. This is the Sorbet Skin Cleansing Balm. I love this, it worked so well. It smelt um, really good, it smelt quite high end and um, yeah, I just felt like it did a lot for my skin. Back to Avon, next up is this Active Moisture Radiance Day Cream. So this was the sample and I had a few and I tried them out over December and I love them. Um, so I'm really gonna go and get myself some. So this is the Avon True Nutrifix Radiance Day Cream. It's the Active Moisturizer. This is the sample obviously. But I am going to go and purchase the big proper um, cream. This is for brightening. It's for dull and tired skin. At the end of last year, I was so tired. My skin was looking terrible and this really gave it a boost. So I'm going to put this in my collection for a backup. Okay, and then this is just the deodorant I was using in November. Um, it's a shower to shower spring rain and it's an antiperspirant, antiperspirant with 48 hour protection. Um, I swap and change deodorants. I like Dove, I like Shower to Shower, um, Shield. So yeah. Okay, so this we bought when we went to uh, Maldives, and I don't, th I mean, this we bought when we went to Cape Town for those 24 hours, and I actually found it in the cupboard and it was finished, so I added it to this video. This is the Woolworths um, Face Moisturizer. It's cucumber with vitamin E. It's a really nice moisturizer and it's really nice if you're traveling. All this stuff is travel size, so I definitely will repurchase this um, the next time I go away. Okay, these are the two primers that I used towards the end of last year. This is the Prime Studio Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer. I've repurchased this. I love it. I also love the You Better Work Gym Proof Primer. Gym Proof Primer, it works really well and it lives up to its name. I bought these camouflage um, concealers, the tattoo covering ones, and I bought the hydrating ones and the matte ones. I'm normally a hydrating girl, but I found like the matte ones covered a lot more, so I would definitely repurchase the matte one over the hydrating one, which for some reason is weird, but yeah. Next up is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask. This we do not get here. I got this from a friend who went to America before I did. It works really well and it's a really good product. Let's just put it out there. Let's just be honest. Everything Neutrogena is amazing. Another set of eyelashes I used around Christmas time were these limited edition Eyelure um, Enchanted Oopsie Daisy um, Feather Light Feel Lashes. So they're all the same product, but they are two different brands. So I love a bubble bath. I love it. And this has been my favorite bubble bath for a very long time. And it is a famous favorite in our family. So this is the Oh So Heavenly Cream Oil Collection in Pomegranate and Rose Hip Oil. This stuff smells amazing. Your body is so hydrated once you've used it. It is insane. I will repurchase this until if they ever, when they ever discontinue it. Next from the Oh So Heavenly range is this really seen its day. Soothe Me Calm Me Too Faced Bath Silk and this is from their Beauty Sleep Collection. This is their aromatherapy blend. It's really nice for when you bath at night. It like calms you down but this by far is my favorite. Then from Avon I've got three um, bubble baths. So this is the 1000 mils, the 1 litre, and these two are the 500 mils. So this is the traditional lemonade. These are also so affordable. This traditional lemonade is the most amazing smelling thing 
ever. They literally make nice bubbles in your bath and they add a nice smell and they make you feel nice and pampered, but they don't do what the Oh So Heavenly Cream Oil does. Your, your body literally feels like you've just moisturized. Next up is this Goodbye Tension Bubble Bath, also from Avon. It's supposed to help reduce tension. It's got a very nice smell and it's very relaxing. Um, but in this world we live in, I don't think bubble bath is going to take our stress away. And then this I bought over Christmas time. I loved it. I don't know what the difference is. This says it's Bane Mousse and these are bubble bath. But to me they're all the same. This is the gingerbread bubble bath. Um, and it smells amazing. These bubble baths smell so good. They smell like you've just walked into a Lush factory store. That's how strong the scent is. The whole room smells like it. And our bathroom and bedroom are open plan. So the smell like drifts through into the room. It's amazing. And then last and definitely not least is this Make Me Brow Essence um, Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I will repurchase this over and over again. It's a very good dupe for Gimme Brow. Um, I have both. I use both. I love it. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that is the empties for November, December, and Jan. Um, just random things that I have finished over that time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And leave me some comments down below if these are the type of videos that you like to watch. But until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.